Tiny Core is one of the smallest operating system out there. It is based on Linux kernel, but it's different than the other Linux operating systems out there. So we're gonna explore it today. So it's gonna be my first time. Let's see how tiny is it and how well it works. I have done a similar video before in this topic, the smallest operating system in the world, which was Colibri OS. But this one is more powerful because it's Linux and you can actually use it if you want to on daily basis, or you can use this to revive your old PC. So this is the official website and uh, looks like version 16 is the latest one and it's using the linux kernel 6.12 which is relatively new that's that's great for a small operating system <laughs> okay so let's actually go ahead and click on download yes i do know little bit about linux okay but i have absolutely zero idea how tiny core works because again as i said this thing is different than the other linux operating systems out there so we're gonna download it okay so we have x86 releases so there are mainly two types of um, tiny core one is core just the core which is smallest as small as 18 almost the 19 megabytes which is not the one that i'm looking for because this will not have the gui the graphical user interface you'll have to add it by yourself since i'm new to the tidy core i don't think i'll be able to use it but if you can or if you want to build your own tiny core system you got it okay let's download the core plus this is the thing that i'm looking for this will give us a graphical user interface this is only 273 megabytes which is still tiny compared to other operating systems out there even if we compare it with some linux operating systems out there this is again still tiny okay <laughs> so let's install it we're gonna create a new virtual machine let's select our iso file with the graphical user interface of course so we're gonna call it tiny because it's actually tiny we're gonna keep it at like one core cpu okay <laughs> i hope it can run it uh, 256 uh, you know I changed my mind I'm gonna give it like one gigabyte of RAM I'm pretty sure it doesn't need that much but let's increase the core to to two okay so maybe we'll get some better experience we don't really need this much power but yeah eight gigabyte storage I mean for 200 megabytes operating system eight gigabytes is too much but we're gonna be generous here and give it 10 gigabyte two gigabyte extra <laughs> okay so let's uh customize this and enable 3d acceleration i don't know if the 3d acceleration will work here but we're gonna enable it if it doesn't work then we disable it basically okay let's run it the tiny and it worked okay <laughs> Okay, we have to read here because last time I forgot to read and some people were mad. I was trying to change the language from uh, Russian to English, which was right in front of my eyes, but I didn't read. So this time I'll be very careful. Okay, so uh, we have so many uh, options here. Default FLWM. So that's the graphical user interface, which I've never heard. I, have, I haven't heard any of these except this one, open box window manager. Should we go with that? I wanna go with that, but since it says the default is FLWM, which I've never heard, we're gonna go with this because I wanna explore the new things, okay? So let's hit enter, and uh, some magical Linux things are happening. Now we have to figure out the installation process. I see install, is it the installer? Uh, whole disk. SDA, install bootloader, okay, ext4, that looks good. So we can install this with GUI and just the text-based in interface. I, I don't think that's a good idea. So we're gonna go and select everything here. So our internet will work. I don't know if I need to select everything here or not. So we're gonna select the core desktop GUI, okay? So let's proceed, let's install it. Installation has completed that's it it took like literally 
couple of seconds. So what do I do now? Close this and uh, let's unmount the ISO file. Okay. And let's power this on and it should. Yeah. Okay. Now it's properly installed. Now, can we change resolution? Oh, here. Okay. Can we do like 1920x1080 and then x30, um, I guess? Enter selection 1 to 68. Okay. I'm having a difficult time changing the resolution of this thing. Oh, I think I figured it out. Okay. I think I figured it out. I made the. Oh, no. Oh no, did I? Okay, I need to reboot this new, but how? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I made it so tiny. Wait, I need to figure out what is the exact resolution. Okay, I need to reboot the system once I change the resolution. Okay, that's... That's weird. I mean, <laughs> super weird. Okay, now we are back to normal. But now we are fixing the system before we can even use it. <laughs> Okay, so I think we can do, uh, what is the 68? Is it like 4K or something? Okay, we're going to go with the 68. Uh, let's see. Uh, not 69, 68. Okay, and we're going to press 1 and we reboot the system. Okay, let's see the resolution now. Please be bigger. Please be massive. Please. Yes. But it's bigger. Oh no. It's so big. I think it's 4K. So what is... Uh, I need to figure out by numbers. We're going to go with the 34 here this time. It's going to be half of what we have right now. I think it's uh, 4K right now. Okay, let's see what is the resolution in 34. I think it's, it's 1080p. Please be 1080p. No, it's not 1080p. Even the chat GPT is saying manually try entering 60 to 68 and just reboot and all that. So even chat GPT doesn't know. So we're going to go with the 60 first. Let's reboot it. Hopefully we'll get the 1080p. Please give me the 1080p. And I don't think we can have a fractional scaling. Okay, I think it's 1080p. Now, actually, let's install uh, the applications. First, we're going to install the browser, okay? Because we don't have browser by default, or do we? Applications, Easy Master, TC install, we don't need that, but we have it here. So, yeah, I don't even know how to uninstall the programs yet. <laughs> this is a fun system, but it is super lightweight, okay? So, Let's see now if we can browse, okay? So we're gonna use the apps. That's what they call it, their app store. And let's try to find Firefox maybe. Get latest, okay. Uh, let's change it to download and load. Let's go and it's downloading the Firefox without using the terminal. Okay, some of the things can be, oh, what happened? Is it installed? No, it's not installed. Yeah, it's installed. So how do I launch the program now? So we have this thing. Oh, we can right click here on the desktop applications, Firefox. Okay. So it's, it wasn't a browser. It was a installer. Okay. Okay. So a lot of weird stuffs are happening here. <laughs> what is this? Gemini, Dilo Gemini, Gemini protocol for Dilo or Dilo. I don't know. It, this is definitely not Google Gemini. Okay. <laughs> now it's downloading the latest version 1.38. It did something before it even downloaded the Firefox. Um, maybe some required files. Okay. Unpacking archive. Okay. It's installed and look at that. It's here. And let's launch it. Yeah, it worked. It is definitely better than the last operating system that I tried, the Colibri OS. Let's watch my video. I'm pretty sure we can watch my videos, right? 
your browser can't play this video okay i think we need google chrome to watch videos okay we have chromium browser chrome, local and chromium browser which one is better maybe this one will do okay let's download this and maybe we'll be able to play the youtube videos <laughs> let's see if chrome does it i think we can fix these uh, please update your browser. Remind me later. Even the Chrome is struggling. Maybe it's because of the virtual machine or outdated version of Chrome. So this thing uses something called TCE, their own package manager. It's different from popular package managers like APT or DNF or something. Okay, it has its own thingy. <laughs> so that's interesting. Let's talk about the few things. Like we can download and install the browser and surf the internet it works for the youtube videos i think you need hardware acceleration for that you'll need to download something i guess some plugins or something so this operating system is highly modular okay basically i mean every linux out there is same okay they are highly modular you can add your own things and all that uh you know the one of the most popular one is arch linux you can have clean no app install and you can add your own desktop environment or window manager or something basically you can have what you want so this thing is kind of similar okay whatever you need you'll have to download and configure it by yourself it doesn't even come with a web browser you'll have to download the web browser too <laughs> so it's that basic or should i say it's that tiny even with the graphical user interface it's like super super lightweight in my opinion it is definitely better and usable than the last operating system that i tried called colibri os and that's it hope you enjoyed it but if you still have any questions or you want to say something about the tiny core you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too and yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care yourself and have fun Bye bye